Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video about something that got a lot of questions. I posted a picture of this online and people were curious about it. And so I thought I'd make a quick video addressing some of those questions. So this is an AMS light enclosure that I found on Maker World. Not my design, but it is a very good design and I'll link it down below. And my main reason of making this is probably just like a lot of people are thinking is to help mitigate moisture. You can see here with this hydrometer, the ambient temperature or ambient uh, humidity rather is around 60% and 17% inside the left chamber here. Now, full transparency, it drops to 16%. Uh, full transparency right behind that, the hydrometer is the like pack that has all the desiccant in it so technically it's probably a little higher in here but i'm pretty happy with that so if that's what you're looking for to help lower the humidity around the spools i think you can cleanly check that box this works very well for that i will say though i didn't expect a second byproduct a second positive byproduct to come out of this uh, enclosure until actually i had built it and put it on and realized oh this solves that problem too and that can be seen over here on this side I have currently open. So I wanna point out probably two or three things real quick. I was really frustrated dealing with these Sunlu spools and any other brand that does this, but mostly it's for me Sunlu has these larger inner diameter um, you know, openings in the middle. And so when you mount them, they wanna fall off. So you had to print a adapter, an adapter to fit these. And I had a bunch of those floating around. It was getting frustrating but you don't really need that anymore because you have these covers that go on here and sandwich it in there. So now it'll never fall off. Now I've had these on here for about a month, month and a half now, and I've had zero issues. Color changing, retraction, just printing in general, zero issues. Like literally nothing has happened that, um, you know, has made a print have an error or fail. So I'd say that this works very well. Of course, time will tell but uh, I'm very happy with it solving the moisture issue and now the no need for a uh, adapter situation is quite nice. But the one thing I will call out is that when I did make this first change, that when I first made the change and started putting these spools on there, I kept the adapters on, just not thinking, didn't realize obviously it's sandwiched in there and it would work uh, quite nice that way. And I kept the, uh, the adapter on there and it was a tight fit. So getting on the spools on and off was kind of annoying because you got to pull pretty hard. But when this is, enclosure's not here, it's actually kind of easy to because you just get your hand behind the spool and you kind of push in the center here with your thumb and slide the whole spool off. No problem. But you can't access the back of the spool because it's closed in. You can only grab the front here. So for these plastic spools, kind of annoying, but no big deal. It just pulls off. But the cardboard spools, it's a different story. If you can only access the front of it, you're going to be bending this cardboard. And I do hear it kind of trying to start to tear as I'm pulling on it and pushing my thumb on the spindle. So that is the only downside to this is that it's kind of hard on those types of spools. I did see a comment online where a guy commented and said, you can change the, the spindle. You can print out a different a smaller diameter spindle and put it on there and problem solve and I was like yet again something it didn't click right away when I made this that that's an obvious upgrade and it would solve that and again if I can make it even smaller and just everything kind of sits on there and just doesn't even have a friction fit major problem solved so I think that's the next step to fix that and once I do that I think there's no more issues with this and I'll be very happy with it so moisture reduction check those larger diameter spools, the issue there with the adapters, no more issue, they're sandwiched in, they don't fall off, check. And now for the last piece, which is a question about changing filament, is it more difficult to have this thing on? Well, you know, technically there's something here, so your hand has to kind of fit up in there to, to do it. So, you know, maybe like a 5% increase in difficulty, but I mean, really it's the same. The space is basically the same. And by the way, that's where this little tower goes. Let's hold your, you know, reusable desiccant. So I take it out each time I change the filament, slide it back in when I'm done, and that's it. 
It works really well. I would really recommend doing this just to protect your filament alone, but also to not to deal with spool adapters. I'm oh, a uh, pretty big fan of this so much that I'm now designing one um, for, the a, uh, for the A1 Mini. Again, I didn't make this one, I didn't design this, but I am now working on a file to get this thing working to where it's enclosed and feeds properly and just as easy to do as this one. That maybe is coming soon. And I will point out that it's nice and thin, low profile. You don't add a lot of extra width to this thing. And I didn't want to disassemble it like how some people have done and put it in different, you know, kind of different areas around the printer to each their own. But that wasn't for me. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for now. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care.